Tonight, Ross County Sheriff's Office Sergeant Eric Cochran is recovering in a hospital after being injured while on duty. Sergeant Cochran was in a shootout with a 42 year old man last week. Good evening. I'm Jared Smalley and I'm Sierra Johnson. Jennifer has the evening off. That shooting happened in downtown Chillicothe on Thursday evening. Here you can see that suspect Nicholas Mitchell approaching Cochran at the sheriff's office. The two exchanged words and seconds later, Mitchell appeared to fire the first shot. The sergeant did shoot back. Mitchell died from those injuries. The community continues to show their support. NBC 4's Karina Chung joins us now live in Chillicothe with the donations being made in the, the sergeant's name. Karina? Jared, Sarah, people have been in and out of the American Red Cross here on Bridge Street. You can see a steady stream of people giving blood, all in the name of Sergeant Eric Cochran. Now, one of the first people here was at the front of the line to say thank you. Support. That's what filled the American Red Cross on Bridge Street in Chillicothe. Angela Ulrich was one of the first appointments of the day. And when I found out that they were doing this for the officer, I, that made it all the more um, compelling to come in and keep my appointment. And I'm just, I'm glad I could contribute. Dozens gathering to donate blood in Sergeant Eric Cochran's name. He's in the hospital being treated after being shot by a suspect outside the sheriff's office. Tina Detty plans to donate blood sometime this week. She brought in a different donation. Shirts reading Cochran Strong. I mean, everybody has a part to play, and um, I, that's what I would want someone to do if it was someone special to me. One uniform that stood out amongst the crowd, a Ross County Sheriff deputy stopping by to say this. Yeah, well, thank you guys for coming. Personally, thank you. I know Eric would appreciate it. What Deputy Cochran did, I mean, he saved a lot of lives. I'm sure if the fellow would have gotten inside, a lot worse things could have happened. There are two more chances to give here in Chillicothe. The American Red Cross will host blood drives Tuesday and Black Friday. We have a very full schedule and we are taking in as many people as we can. So, I mean, until our supplies run out pretty much. Ulrich says concern for Cochran and his family is being felt across the entire community and everyone is praying he'll be okay this holiday season. I lost my husband this year and this is going to be the first um, year I haven't had my husband with me. So I really don't want that for anyone else. I mean, we're all pulling for it. I did reach out to the Ross County Sheriff's Office as well as the Attorney General's Office for an update on Cochran and his recovery. No update was available at this time. Local for you in Chillicothe, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.